The real question is, was it helpful and would I buy it again? Annyeonghaseyo, you. Annyeonghaseyo, hey you. It's Italia. If you're new here, I've been learning Korean for a few years now and I've reached an upper intermediate level of proficiency in the language. And having done so, I would like to share my thoughts on this very, very popular resource, Korean grammar in use for intermediates because I'm intermediate, it's intermediate. We are a good pair, you know? This book is super popular. It is one of the most hyped up Korean resources in the Korean studygram community. And so today I would like to share my thoughts on one, if I think it's good for those of you who are self-studying Korean, two, whether it's worth the money, because if you didn't know, this book is very pricey. Let's go ahead and get started. Here go. Let's start off by talking about the structure of this book. So if you didn't notice, this book is very thick very heavy, very expensive. Um, and one of the reasons it's so thick is because it has somewhere of like 60, 70, 80 plus grammar structures in it. Um, and the reason for that is it says that it covers all intermediate level Korean, like all of it. Okay, well not all of it, but like the grammar stuff, it covers all of it. Like it says that it covers uh, many grammar points and expressions appearing on the topic intermediate levels three and four. So if you're not familiar with topic or topic as it's also pronounced, uh, it's the test of proficiency in Korean that is organized by the Korean government. Basically, levels three and four are the intermediate levels. Three is low intermediate and four is upper intermediate. And honestly, I find that claim to be true. This claim that it has in the bullet point, I think it's true. Now, as for like how they organize that much content, that many grammar patterns, um, each chapter is kind of like centered around one topic. So you'll have two to seven grammar structures that are in one chapter that's about like expressing opinions or another two to seven grammar structures that are all about saying I thought. At first, I won't lie, I was kind of hesitant about the fact that they were gonna group all these grammar structures together, like these really similar ones, because I was like, oh, what if I get confused? But I found that the way this book explains grammar structures and kind of compares and contrasts them, like there are a lot of tables in here that compare similar grammar structures um, that like foreigners, you know, us, um, confuse pretty often. They, they compare and contrast them and say like, hey, this is how they're different. We know they look similar, but they're different. Um, so in the end, it was kind of nice that they were clumped up like that. It made it easier for me to review and learn the differences between them. One thing I do want to point out is that I noticed like the explanations are in Korean and in English and the English is kind of awkward and weird. You'll understand it for sure, but it's like, yeah, just something I wanted to point out. And I know my friend who's like really good at Korean said that the Korean explanations are also awkward. So yeah, I don't know. Do what you will with that information. I just wanted to give you a heads up. So do I think this book was worth it? Do I recommend it? My answer is yes and also no. It really depends on what your intent is, what kind of textbook you're looking for. In my opinion, this is not a textbook textbook. This is a reference book. This is the book that you pull off the shelf when your main resource or main textbook is not giving you enough information because if you were to try to go from page one to page 100, as I've seen a lot of people do on Instagram, I'm kind of have some concerns about how much you're gonna remember in like a week <laughs> or like once you get to the second half of the book, do you remember what's in the first half? Because I like the grammar structures do not stack on each other. Once you have like read that page, it's gone. Now, if you're like me and you already have a main resource and you just need something that to supplement the grammar explanations in your textbook, then yes, this is probably a very, very good option for you. I think this is actually one of the best grammar books that I've seen for Korean like to date. I mean, I haven't seen all the books, but this one's a pretty good one. It makes it pretty easy. The tables are very nice. The quality of the explanations is pretty good with the exception of like some of the awkward phrasing. However, since I was using it as a reference book, I did notice that it is not, I repeat, it is not the grammar Bible that a lot of people make it out to be. This isn't like your one-stop shop for grammar. There were times where I would notice that it was kind of missing information compared to what was written in my Ihua book. It, like my Ihua book, those explanations are long as well. And they would say like, you can't use it in this situation or you can't use it like this or in this tense. And this book would completely skip over that fact. And I'm not gonna say like it's completely wrong. Like obviously there were times where this said something and my Ihua book didn't mention it but I just think you should be aware that like not everything is in this book. Now, in terms of if I would buy this again, like if I could go back in time and decide if I wanted to buy this again at full price, like the full price of this book, 
Honestly, I'd probably go with a no. I don't think I have pulled it off the shelf enough times to make it worth like that cash money. Um, but if it was in an ebook, that I want. If it was in an ebook, I would definitely get it because again, it's more of a reference book. So if I'm on the go, if I'm at a cafe or something, like I'm not gonna take this heavy book with me to look at it once if at all. So I think it would be better as an ebook, which they don't have ebooks. So my answer is no, I probably would not buy it again. If you are wanting to look more into this book or purchase it, I will leave some links for different stores for it down below. If you're looking for other intermediate level resources or my favorite intermediate resources, you can check out this short playlist right here. Doo -doo -doo. And I will see you guys in the next video. So tell me bye guys.